Our next measurement is gonna be shoulder external rotation. And again, we'll do shoulder external rotation glenohumeral isolated, and then we'll do total composite shoulder external rotation. My alignment is gonna be the same. The axis is gonna be on the electron process. The stationary arm is gonna be vertical, and the movable arm is gonna be against the midline of her humerus. So with this measurement, I'm gonna reach under her scapula, and I wanna palpate as she externally rotates until I feel her scapula posteriorly rotating. And that is where I feel her scapula rotating against my fingers. So I line up my goniometer again, axis of the electron on. Whoops, sorry, vertical. With the proximal arm and the distal movable arm is gonna be against the midline of her ulna. And she has isolated glenohumeral external of 75. Now go ahead and go back as far as you can take it, Katana. And I follow her there for total composite shoulder motion. She has 95 degrees.